what's your nationality? You see the you see the, the names on the left hand side? Okay, I'm a bird. You're American black. So you be from the tribe of Judah. You know Christ, not a white man, but a black man, you know he comes from the same tribe. So if Christ came from the tribe of Judah, then what what pigmentation would his people be? Because he came to say his people. Okay. You're right. I mean it's, it is what it is. What well, give me uh, I'm gonna show you uh go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. No, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. I'm gonna show you something. I want to show you that you are from the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? So your father is an American black, correct? Yeah. All right. Get that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken. No, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Bear with me. I'm sorry about that, bro. Deuteronomy 1 and verse 1. Listen the book good. of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who the Mo who's Moses speaking to? Read again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. I call the book again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Hold on, now go to, uh, go to verse 15. 28 and verse 15. So Moses is speaking to whom, sis? Which? Israel. Right, right, right. Now we're going to go through some curses to show you that these curses are going to be placed upon a particular people. It's going to be placed on Israel. It's going to signify and show you that who you are, thus saith the Lord, okay? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Up, real good. But it shall come to pass, right. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments, all his, what? All his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these, what? All these curses. Is curse, is curse a good thing or a bad thing, sis? It's a bad, it's a bad thing, right? So the Father is saying that... I'm going to tell you this. Moses is telling the Israelites, right? Because that's who he's addressing, right? He's telling the Israelites, if you don't obey and hearken to the Lord's word and keep his commandments, that curses are going to follow you, right? Bad things is going to happen to you, right? Yeah. Right, right? Now watch. We're going to read. Give me a... Is that on that verse? Keep going. That all these curses uh -huh. should, co should come upon thee and overtake thee. I mean, it's going to consume you, right? It's going to consume thee. Read verse uh, 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. How are we cursed in the city, sis? I can't even say it. It's cursed because they're black on black crime. Keep going. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else type of crime is out there? But it's obvious that we cursed, though, right? It's obvious, right? More than any other nation, right? 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 But we're talking about Israel now. We're going to bring this to light. Right? Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. So how were we cursed in the field? Look at these, take a look at these signs right here. How were we cursed in the fields? Slavery. Slavery, right? And what, who, who did slavery happen to? Well, who did slavery happen to? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yes, that is correct. Now, we're talking about Israel now, but we also talk about curses that let you know that you are Israel. Are you following, sis? All right, read. Give me uh, verse 32. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When did that take place? Where our sons and daughters were given to another people. Um, That's right. We, 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 we're, trying to connect the, we're trying to connect the dots. Are you, are you following? Right? Because I mean, Moses is talking to the children of Israel, right? But it's not like he's talking to you, though, right? Because he is talking to you. You understand what I'm saying? This is your history book. But we're going to keep going. And thine eyes shall look uh -huh. and fill with longing. Who are, we, who are they looking for? We're looking for our children. Right? Because it said before that our children shall be given to another people. So longing means crying. Right? Read. And fill with longing for them all the day long. Right. And there uh -huh. shall be no might in thine hand. We didn't have the might to get them back in slavery. What's the, what's the hell? We got the, we don't have the mic to get them back now if they take them from us from, what's the name of the service? CPS? Chapel, they don't even have to see something physically going on. It could be a neighbor that don't even like you. But look, I think they're abusing their kids over there. But they on your front door and they taking your kids. So these curses was t back then and, t and relevant today. What, what we got? Go, go to, uh, hold on, sis. Uh, yeah, go to 36. 
37. No, 37. 37. Okay. And thou shall become an astonishment. A proverb. You know what a proverb is, right? And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Among all nations, right? We will be, we will be called everything else outside our God-given name. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, like American black. That's not our God-given name. That word is not in these scriptures, right? You understand what I'm saying? Our God-given name is Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, and on down. You understand what I'm saying? So read. Go, go. Hold on. Go to verse. No, give me a. Go straight to 48. 48. I got you. Hold your belt. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Therefore, you should do what? Serve thy You have to have certain things, right? What you got to have? The passport, right? But who do you, who, who's running all of that? Who do you got to go see to go get that? Who who comes up with this documentation that you must have? Like, uh, uh, but when you die, you got to get a death certificate. Before you leave a hospital, you got to get a birth certificate. You understand what I'm saying? We don't control any of these things. But the Most High God said it at the beginning. Read the beginning again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies? So we should serve our enemies. So whomever we got to go and walk of all things is our enemies. Who did that to our people? Who did this to our people? Our enemies. Our enemies. Our enemies. Our, but what, what are they called? What's their nationality? White, white. The white people. There is, and then they give us this at Christmas and Thanksgiving. All their traditions are all vain. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep reading. Hold on, hold on. Because we got to start putting to make that they have this make sense. You got to start putting names on stuff so you know who your enemy is. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's there. It's here in the, in the scriptures. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, right. which the Lord shall send against thee. I know you're like, hold up. But the Lord sent the enemy against us? Yes, why? Why did the Lord send the enemy against us? Because when we were back in 15, he said and told us if we would not listen, that he was going to curse us. And he going to place curses upon the, us and overtake us. Yeah. Right? Because we are disobedient. God is our father. We are his children. When your children act up, there you go, and that's what we're seeing today. You understand what I'm saying? Read. In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. We got to serve the enemy when we want something to eat. We got to serve the enemy when we want some, something to drink. We don't own these springs and uh, oceans and water, bodies of water to be able to bottle it up and sell it. Jeez. When it's a free resource. Read. And in nakedness. Read it again. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. When we go with clothing on our back, we, we don't own the textile mills. We got to go see them. We got to go work a nine to five that's ran by them to spend money that's been taxed by them and then go get taxed again to buy some produce or a product to cover my skin or your skin or your child's skin. Bring it up. Feed them. You understand what I'm saying? Come on with it. And, and want of all things. In all things. Like I was stating before, if you want to, you can't travel freely to another country without seeing that man or without seeing that nation. Right? You can't cross the border without getting a passport or without having an ID to show you who you are. You understand what I'm saying? When you die, you got to go see him to get a death certificate. Hell, you got to go see him to get a plot to be put in the earth. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We are slaves. You understand what I'm saying? We are slaves. We are slaves. What else we got? Go to uh, uh, get some. Yeah, Kiwi. And he uh -huh. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. It said, and he. We're still talking about that enemy. It said, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who did that? He has a name. No, it's not Uncle T Well, I see what you're saying, but what's that around his neck? Who did that to him, though? The enemy. The so-called white man did this. It's in the history books. But the hell with the history books, it's in our history books. You understand what I'm saying? Cause come on now, try to make a connection. All these curses is, is toward, uh, to a direct nation, a particular nation, a peculiar people, and it happens to be you. You are. Not these people. They're the ones that deceive. They want what we got. Yeah. Right. They can't have it, though. 
They can't have it. They can, they can perpetrate and fake that they are the Jews, but they're not. They're the fake Jews. This is, this is, uh, um, these laws and statutes was given to Jacob and his sons. Right? Read. Who we got? Was it finished? Just look at it. And he Seven. shall put a yoke of iron uh. upon thy neck Read. until he have destroyed thee. So check this. They say, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you be, be destroyed. Now, it's, we're not physically destroyed, but we mentally destroyed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because we do all these things that he, he follows or everything that he uh, sponsors, yeah. we follow it willingly now. That's destruction. That's being destroyed. Because even though in your mind you know Christ is not white, he's not white, but you're still participating in things that he stands by, or still a stamp of approval of. Like I said, Christmas, all these pagan holidays is on this umbrella right here. We got our own high holidays that come from on this umbrella right here. So if you separate, you just can't separate from the pigmentation, right? You got to separate from the situation, That's right. which is the doctors that come from this joker right here. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's deeper than pigmentation. It's more than knowing that he's black. Now you got, oh, okay, how did he move then? It's like a father and son. You're like the son that's like that. He wants to be like his father right. or his big brother. Like this is our big brother. And big brother, and big brother, man, he's strong. I want to be just like him. That's how we got to be. Jeez. How did Christ move when he walked the earth? Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's more than knowing that he's a black man. You got them. If you're dealing with it, if you're dealing with a sister, you having sex with a sister, she has to be your wife. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We gotta stop sleeping around and making holes out of our sisters because right. the women are not gonna get in order till we get in order. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We have to get in order first, but while we get in order, the sister has to stay in their place as well. Right. You got to follow that man. When that man is getting in order, you got to be there to support him. That's right. I see you clapping your hands. So I got to tell you, because you got a part in this too. It's not just him. Because y'all are each other's life support. You got to understand it. It's y'all against the world. You got to understand that. Because we, it's all about building a nation. And we can't do that if we got baby mamas and baby daddies everywhere. Because if you got kids here, a kid there, hell, I'm a baby daddy. Yeah, I'm a baby daddy. I am. But that's with my previous wife. We all fall under these curses. You understand what I'm saying? We all, but after I came into this law, right. I married my wife. You understand what I'm saying? And I raised my children. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? I made, we all make mistakes. We all have sinned. But once you come into this truth, and once you come to uh, this information, you got to stop doing that what you know is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Give me that. Keep doing that. Go to 68. What you like? That was it. Give me 68. The book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter enough. 28, verse 68. He's still talking about the curses in Deuteronomy. And the Lord, and the Lord shall bring thee uh -huh. into Egypt again. Are y'all familiar with Egypt? Are y'all familiar where we was at as the, the Israelites was? Do you, do you uh, what kind of status they was in when they was in Egypt? The Hebrews, the Israelites. Were they serving class or were they the ruling class? They was a, no, no, the Israelites were the serving class. They were slaves. Right? Yeah. Did we ever go back to Egypt again? Come, read this again. Let's listen up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And he shall bring the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, back into Egypt again. Have we, what, have we been back to Egypt? No. no. So what is the Lord talking about? Give me Exodus 22. What is the Lord talking about? What does Egypt mean? Egypt has a different meaning. Read that for me. The book of Exodus, Listen chapter up. 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. There go that word again. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Egypt is known as the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? What's another word for bondage? Change, What's another word for bondage? Come on, we're talking about history now. Look at this. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. That's right. You understand it? Right. Slavery. So the most I got just set through Moses telling Israel, look, we just left from slavery, but I'm telling y'all, y'all about to fall again, and you're going to be going back into slavery. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. That's what I'm. Yes, we are. Very much so. Yet this day. We live our money, but we shouldn't be living our money. We should be living well. 
I can't hear you. We shouldn't be living wild. We live our money. We shouldn't be living our money. You say we should be living wild? Yeah, living wild. Right? We should be living our life. We shouldn't be living our money. All that should be one. Right, yeah, yeah. And all of us that's this the 12 tribes. Yes, you're right. Because everybody's not for us. We have enemies. You understand what I'm saying? I'm with you. Earth is number 12. We 12? I got you. Yeah. Go to, uh, Six, man, check this out. Check this out, bro. Check this out. Go to read 68 again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery. The Lord is here telling us that he's going to send us back into slavery again. Really? With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. How did we get over here? Ships. What type of ships? Uh, 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 was it was it a cruise ship? It was slave ships. Slave ships. That's how we got here. Who are we reading about here? Who are we reading about here? Does it doesn't sound like your people? Don't it? Does it, hey, sis, does it not sound like your people? We're talking about you and how you got here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight. This is the King James Bible. Come on. By the way. Whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So we shall not see our homeland again. We are not gonna see our homeland again because this is we over here servants. Right. You hear I me? Mean? Yeah. When, when Moses in the land of the Moses was speaking to us, then he said we shall not see it no more. Right? And there ye shall be sold into your enemies. For bond men. Oh, read it again from the top. Check it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there. And there, once you got off them slave ships, what's going to happen? Ye shall be sold into your enemy. Sold into who? Sold into your enemy. Now, your friend, who you sold to, man? Sold into your enemy. So just be very clear that we have enemies. Right, we got enemies, and it's obvious, but we don't want to say it. We don't want to address it. We just want to hide from it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When we, when, it's like that's uh, that's one of the symptoms or one of the uh, the coping mechanisms when you're going through pain. Yeah. We drink it away. We smoke it away, which you're not supposed to do, as far as smoking away, any of that stuff because you're making that your god. Yeah. You do that to erase the pain. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. Twelve, y'all, y'all, the sons of God, right? And daughters, daughter of Sarah, keep the commandments and live, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.